Welcome to Tularosa Community Church's uh, Discipleship Classes. Um, my name is Michael. I am the Associate Pastor of Discipleship and of Music. Um, so, so what is discipleship? It is um, simply saying, hey, I am a follower of Jesus, and I want to be more like him. It's something that is commanded. God told us to do that uh, in the Bible. And so it's definitely something that, that, that you want to be doing. It's something that will help you grow, uh, help you uh, mature, help you move forward. Um, this, uh, this class is, is specifically for new membership to the church. Um, we have a, a three level, um, discipleship setting. This is the first level of discipleship class. It's 101 Christian basics. After this, we have 201, uh, Christian growth. It has a little bit more, um, complicated and complex, uh, thoughts. A little bit, it goes a little bit deeper. Uh, this is just the real basics um, and then we have uh, 301, uh, Christian Leadership, um, and all these classes work together. But this class, Christian Basics, is the only one you're going to need for membership. Um, 201 will just help you to uh, to understand more, uh, to grow more, um, and is uh, at different times it's been required for different ministries, um, but that might be subject to change in the future. Um, so I'm just so excited to have you watching this, and I hope you really get to get to learn something from this. Um, first off, we're assuming if you're watching this video and if you want to be a member to the church that you have accepted Jesus' sacrifice, you have surrendered your life to him, you are saying, hey, I am a Christian. Uh, I I am a sinner. I have sinned against God, uh, but I have accepted Jesus' sacrifice. He died in my place so that I could be saved, so that I can, I can now draw close to God. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're assuming that, you, that you've made that decision. Um, and if you have not, uh, please get in contact with Pastor Randy, uh, the senior pastor of the church, and he will, he will help, uh, help you understand those things. He'll, he'll walk you through it. Um, so this class is really um, intended for those who have already made that decision. Um, they are, it is a series of short videos just to introduce the basics of Christianity. Um, it's meant to be something that just helps you to learn how to grow um, and to how to move forward. Um, the lessons will include, uh, lesson one is about prayer and fasting. Uh, lesson two is about reading your Bible. Lesson three is about uh, church services, going to church. Uh, lesson four is about worship. And lesson five is about tithes and offering. Now, once again, these are just supposed to real, um, real basic idea of, of getting you into, into just the general idea. Uh, I know a lot of times, um, a, a lot of people really aren't, aren't familiar with, um, with what to expect. Um, so, okay, now these five things, prayer and fasting, Bible reading, church services, worship, and tithes and offering, these five things will help you grow in a lot of different ways. First off, spiritually, you'll find as you, as you grow in these areas that you um, you will grow in your relationship with God. Um, when you read your Bible, it will be more productive. Your prayer time, excuse me, will be more productive. Um, it will get to be more fun. Um, I know a lot of people say reading your Bible fun, but yes, it, that's true. It will be fun. Um, uh, you'll grow mentally, and um, we see a lot of people um, who have uh, panic attacks and depression and that kind of stuff. Well, once you start feeding your spirit, once you start growing as a Christian, um, it's easier to deal with um, mental uh, disorders. Obviously, um, you still need to go to the doctor, and you know I'm, I'm not saying that you don't need to take medication or anything like that. I'm just saying it will help you to grow mentally. Um, it will help you to mature. Um, a lot of times uh, things happen in our lives that kind of um, we focus on and kind of hold us back from growing. And the more we seek after God, the more we learn how to move past those things and grow. Um, it will also help, help you physically and uh, socially. Yeah, those things are all kind of connected socially in, this, in the aspect of you know how to make good friends and, and, and really, um, um, as a Christian, to grow closer to other Christians. Um, so, okay. Um, why membership? Hey, why should I be a member? You know, it's, this is all good and everything, but hey, why why should I be a member? Um, why don't I just go to church and let that be good enough? Well, there's a lot of reasons to be a member. First off, to know what's going on. Every year, uh, members have a have a meeting where they get to uh, ask questions and discuss things. They get to see where the money of the church is going, uh, what the church's budget is, what the church has been doing, what it, what it plans to do for the next year. Um, you know, different things like that. Just a lot of information that isn't really um, something that as just a general churchgoer you get to know. 
Um, you really get to get to know what's going on. Second off, you really get to be a part as a member. Um, more ministries will be opened up to you, and uh, you get to really feel like you belong, feel like you're part of something bigger. Um, you, as a member, you get to vote on issues with the church. Um, if you're not a member, you don't get to vote. So let's say um, a new pastor, um, let's say Pastor Randy uh, retires and a new pastor is coming in. Well, as a member, you get to vote on whether you think this is the right pastor or not. Um, which is, if you're not a member, well, the church is going to change and you have no say-so of it. Um, um, also, uh, it, it keeps the church open. Um, churches operate as um, what's called a non-profit organization. Now, that means that you have to maintain membership and those kinds of things. Um, and so when you become a member, you're helping the church to continue uh, to run as a church. Um, Nonprofits get tax exemption and that kind of stuff, which really helps in paying for ministry, um, paying for the gas for the buses to be able to pick up the kids, all that kind of stuff, um, which once again, we wouldn't have as, as great of um, ability without that nonprofit uh, status with the state. Um, also, it helps with accountability. Um, when you uh, sign on as a member to something, you, you are saying, I'm committed to this thing. And it helps you to um, to just have have more of a safeguard against you know falling into old habits, against you know um, uh, getting into let's just say a less pro less than productive life. Um, also, uh, in the Bible, it says that we are uh, we are the body of Christ. We as Christians are all the body of Christ. We are members of the body of Christ. Uh, and so when you become a member of a church, you're basically agreeing with the Bible and saying, yes, um, I am a member of, of the body of Christ, and I am publicly declaring that. Um, which brings to our last point there. It is a declaration of your Christianity. It's, it's saying, hey, I am, I am a part of this, um, and I'm, I'm all in. I, I'm, I'm committed to this, and we're moving forward. Um, uh, next lesson will be the first lesson. Um, it will be uh, on prayer and fasting.